Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to a fun weekly event. This week I am featuring Lone Phone, so let's get started with the first day. Today I'm going to use this adorable stamp set and the matching dies. These are called Snow Cool and I'm also going to use this die that helps you create pop-up cards. Now I usually don't do anything inside my cards, but this, uh, is, this die is adorable and it makes amazing cards. So first of all I'm going to cut this out of uh, white cardstock. And I am going to pass it uh, through my die cutting machine twice because this die not only cuts out the paper but it also scores. So wherever you can see a score line this is where you will fold. But I'm going to take you through step by step and you will see that it's very easy and it gives a wow factor. So here is what you get. And I am just going to follow the score lines and just fold everything. I'm making sure that I go slowly and I'm going to use my bone folder for the bottom crease. So with this die you get two heels, one in front of the other. In my case, since I used white, are going to be snow banks. So I'm folding everything back. And also I'm going to fold twice those big uh, pieces that stick out. There are score lines for everything, so you don't have to guess anything. And this is what you get. So I'm going to leave those aside and I'm going to work on uh, the background of my little scene. So I'm going to use my mini Misty. And this is my card base. If I open it like that, I'm going to stick that at the bottom. So the background will be the top folding uh, part of the card. And this is where I'm going to create my background. Now I am going to use the snow. And I am going to use my powder tool first to apply some powder on my background and this way I'm making sure that uh, the embossing powder is going to stick only where it's supposed to. However, in this case it doesn't really matter because it's snow and if you get uh, small white particles here and there, it's not the end of the world. So I am going to use my Versa marking and I am going to stamp this uh, twice so that I make sure that I cover up the whole background. And as I'm doing that, just to remind you that, as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies I'm using today, along with links to online shops where you can get them, down below the description area, as well as on my blog. So now that I have stamped everything, I'm going to apply some uh, embossing powder, that's white embossing powder, and then I'm going to heat set the snow with my heat gun. And now although you cannot see the snow, it's uh, there and it's embossed and the embossing uh, powder resists distress ink. So I am going to go all over the background and I don't really care if I go outside of the line of the folding line down there because this is going to be covered up by the cutout that I have uh, created already. You will see what I mean. So I am going to use my distress ink and that's peacock feathers and I'm going to apply it all over the background. To create my sky. As I am moving towards the top of uh, my sky, you will see the snow appearing. And since I am working on a pop-up card, I am working on the inside of the card and I will try to keep the outside quite simple since there is a lot going on on the inside. So here is the sky for my card on the inside flap of my card. So the card would close like that and when you open, you could see this. Now it's time to stick down the die cut. So on the flap that I have folded at the back, I'm going to apply some tape adhesive. Use any tape adhesive or glue that you have, just make sure that it's uh, nice and strong because this is uh, going to keep that inside your card and you certainly don't want your card to fall apart. So I have uh, applied a lot of this strong adhesive and now I'm going to make sure that the end of this flap matches perfectly the fold line of my card base. And I'm going to press it down. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on uh, the top of those two pieces that stick out. Just over those score lines. Then fold everything down just like I'm doing here. And then close the card base.
And there is something satisfying about using this die. The moment you open up uh, the card and you see that dimension inside your card, it really puts a smile on your face and makes you so happy. I am going to be using this again and again. And I hope you can see how dimensional this is and how many places you have to stick different elements on your card. So now I'm going to use the images from the Snow Cool stamp set and I'm going to stamp them here just to create some uh, little elements to stick on my card. Now I'm going with uh, every image that there is in this uh, stamp set. I'm not sure at this point what I'm actually going to use, but uh, since I'm stamping with my mini Misty, I can go ahead and stamp everything at once. So I'm using the two penguins, the snowman, their house, as well as little accessory accessories such as uh, a little bow, a hat, a little fish, which I will not end up using, but uh, since it's so easy to stamp everything together, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm also going to stamp this twice because I didn't get a very good impression. I think my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink needs a little bit of thinking. And then I'm going to use my Copic markers to color everything. Now these are very easy to color and uh, I'm not going to show you how I did that. I'm just adding a little bit of coloring and not too much shading since they are so small and tiny images. Once I had everything ready to go, I used my die cuts from the matching set. So I'm going to use my tool to cut everything apart. And then I'm going to place everything on top, make sure that it doesn't move with uh, a piece of uh, scotch tape. And that's, by the way, repositionable scotch tape. And uh, I'm going to pass them all together through my C6 machine to die cut them. And here they are, all ready to go. I'm just going to pop them out. And now I'm ready to stick everything on the inside of my card. So I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to commit by using some glue at the back. For gluing all my pieces I am using the Nouveau glue pen which I find that it's very strong and holds everything really nicely and I can go to small places by using this uh, fine tip. And I find this part of uh, creating the card really fun because I decide where everyone is uh, staying and what he's doing. So anyway, I find this uh, pop-up die cut uh, really amazing and uh, I am going to use it again and again on my cards. And especially I like it because not only you can create snow banks like I did here, but they can be hills. And uh, since Lone Phone has so many critters available, I can uh, create so many different um, little scenes on the inside of my cards. Now at uh, the bottom flap I'm going to stamp Let It Snow that comes from the same stamp set with black ink and I'm also making sure that I leave enough space to write my message. And I just had to add some uh, glitter on my penguins so I'm going to use my Wink of Stella glitter pen and add a touch of shine. And just because there are so many things going on on the inside, I'm going to keep the outside quite simple. So I have created a second panel with the same method, just like I did the sky for the inside. And I have also created one more snowman. Which I'm just going to stick at uh, the bottom of this panel. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. And I'm going to stick that directly at the center of my card. And although there is a lot of dimension when you open up the card, it actually closes pretty flat and you can mail it easily. And I imagine that the recipient of my card will think, oh, Vicky sent me such a simple card this year. But when you open the card, then comes the fun. So to finish it off, I'm going to punch out a few hearts. And to bring everything together, I'm using the same Copic color that I have used for bits and pieces on the inside of my card. So I'm using my Confetti Heart Punch. This is a very old punch. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'm going to link it down below. Otherwise, you can use any other die that you might have for little hearts. To stick everything down, I'm using my Nouveau Fine Tip Glue Pen. This comes in three different sizes, the fine tip, the middle and the large tip. 
And uh, I'm going to finish it off by adding a little bit of glitter. This is Crystal Drop by Novo and the color is uh, White Blizzard which although looks milky at the moment it's going to dry clear and you will only be able to see the glitter inside. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another card featuring glowing foam stamps and dies. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more winter cards that I have created a while back. Thank you all for watching!